Hey, what's up everybody? It's Subacabra. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done a little theater walkthrough video. Uh, got a bunch of new additions that I'd like to mention, stuff like that. Um, so basically in the living room, uh, what have I changed in here? Not much really. Um, I did put the hover boss back underneath the theater seating. I had taken it out for a while, but I missed it so much because it's just way too much fun. Um, still have, you know, the 65 inch uh, Sony 900E. I was calibrated by uh, D Nice. Still looks absolutely gorgeous all these years later. And of course, that's on an articulating mount. So I could swing that out of the way when I want to watch uh, movies on the projector. That's a 125 inch screen. Uh, up front, we still have. Uh, power sound audio MT110, MT110C. Uh, we still have the dual power sound audio S3601 subwoofers, one in the front left, one in the right rear. Uh, for surround speakers, I have still the um, Volt 10s, which I made to look like, uh, I guess, imitation PSA speakers. <laughs> So it kind of matches everything else. I also did the same with my height speakers. They're Volt 6s. I made those look like little power sound audio speakers too. So I got four of those. Uh, still rocking the BenQ HT3550. Still going strong. I think <laughs> I got this thing when it first came out and I think, God, I think it only has like 500 hours on it maybe. I mean, I still enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but um, being a living room setup, um, it's mostly uh, one night a week for movies and stuff like that. Um, as far as the equipment rack, start from the bottom. Got the Surge X, the Surge protector down there, Outlaw 5000. It's running my bed layer. Uh, still got the trusty Denon 6200W, still going strong. I uh, got the Aircom T7, I think it is, or T8. Uh, Behringer NX6000, which is powering the Hover Boss, the Stereo Integrity SQL12s. Uh, all that's running through <clears throat> Mini DSP tuned by AZ Tuning. Uh, shout out to Zach and Aaron. They did a tremendous job. I know Zach's really doing good for himself lately. Uh, 4K player, still got the... Let's get a little blurry here. Still got the Sony uh, X800, which is kind of pissing me off lately because Jesus Christ, I hate iPhones junk junk I tell you uh, still pissing me off it's it's freezing uh, on 4k discs once in a blue moon which causes me to have to unplug it and start over which is annoying um, so that pretty much covers it for this room that's series X over there of course big gamer uh, going here into the bar got some new cool additions in here so probably seen some of my other videos with um i don't know why this is doing that but uh the high sense u7k which i just got uh great 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 value tv for sure uh in here we're running a 5.1 setup which consists of a custom made volt 6 center one of one but you've never seen one of those before volt 6 for the fronts uh some Elax for the back, for the rears. And a little uh, rhythmic subwoofer down there. That's a LB12, I believe, the sealed version. Uh, I have the LB12R up in my bedroom setup, which I love. And a movie collection. Xbox and Denon, of course. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Big Subaru fan. Uh, I used to own a Swap 2000 RS, which I love. So I got all my little Subaru models and uh, SVO Mustang, which is somewhere down here underneath this crap. Yeah, super cool. Tron Legacy, absolutely one of my favorite movies. Gotta have that German version of Twister with the Dolby Atmos and the Dolby Atmos Gravity. Gotta love it. So I haven't counted how many Blu-rays I have. I have some extras down there too. Um, I haven't bought any in a while. 
I guess the latest I got was Titanic and the Mist. The Titanic looks amazing. Up here I have my little Blade Runner 2049 collection. This is the one you want to get right here from Japan, the Sony version. Supposedly it's better. It's got some little tchotchkes and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to show you guys my bedroom setup. So literally have four systems crammed into a two bedroom condo. Uh, you got the main system here in the living room, got the little bar system, my bedroom system, which is a full uh, 512 Dolby Atmos capable 100 inch projection screen. You'll see that in a minute. Then of course I had to hook my son up. So hooked him up with a nice 5.1 system. I'll show you that too. So we're just going to pause this real quick and I'll see you upstairs.